All right. Um, this is kind of a awkward video. You can see in the little corner we got a good little ways to go in the GPS. But basically, I received a call last night at like 3.30 that, let's just say, the FBI wants me to come back into the light of the world and stop hiding. Because I was a freak athlete who came out of Ohio State as a junior, and I'm only, I'm only 18, about 19. They don't want to hold me too accountable because they're they're trying to give me ways to get out. And uh, they don't want me to to waste my life away doing all this. So instead, they're sending me back to school to do my senior year. But I'm not going to do my senior year at Ohio State because everybody already knows me. Then. I'm going to do my senior year at Bay City College. And... And uh, instead of playing football, I think I'm going to do basketball because that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to go into basketball, but, you know, I got, I got out, outed in football, so I said, let me go ahead and wrap up. So currently right now, I'm leaving everything behind, my bike. The only thing that's coming with me is my uh, is the stuff I got on, including the mask, because I forgot to take it off when I left the, when I left the bunker. But uh, we going They said that they left the plane there for me, and we just gonna fly off. We leave and we going. We going to Bay City, and uh, the story is is that. The story that the FBI has filled everyone in is that I've been going to this school. I've been going to the school. And uh, right now I'm their senior, their star basketball player. That's, that's the story that's been told. And my name is still Raphael Johnson. No spelling changes or nothing. But they just uh, they gave me a nickname called Chad or whatever, something like that. And uh, once I get there, once I get there, we are racing all this stuff off the map. None of this happened. That's what they said. They said, we ain't going to think about nothing you did after you got kicked out of the NFL. None of this happened. So we kind of wrapping up a book in my chapter. We're going on to the new chapter of my life, a chapter where I can actually, you know, feel pretty good about going outside and not have to worry about much, but I don't know. I might want to go home to Chi-Town for a little bit and then, and then go, I just don't want to go straight to Bay City. I'm going to go, oh yeah, I'm going to go home for a little bit and go over to chi -Town. I mean, go over to uh, Bay City. But, yeah, so all the, all the drug slinging, people shooting, store robbing Raphael Johnson, as y'all know now, that chapter is done. I ain't want to live this life no way. I just knew if I had to, I could do it. Now I'm be slinging, I'm gonna be shooting, I'm gonna be dunking. You feel me? Alright, but uh, I just wanna let y'all know. I just wanna let everyone know, cause um, I just wanna let everybody know that's what that's what the plan is. I missed the turn. That's the plan right now. I'm a, I'm a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this opportunity to.
get around my life and not have to be worried about how I'm going to get a meal and other things like that. But I got to go back to college. It's just, it's just the easiest way. It's the easiest way for me to handle stuff. In this way, I get a clean slate. And I don't have much to worry about besides actually fitting in a class. But we straight. I ain't gonna worry about that. But yeah, so go ahead and go ahead and get in. It's Raphael. All right, bet, bet, bet. Go ahead and get in here. Hopefully they open the gate for me. I right, they did. Let's see if these FBI dudes went lying. So it's supposed to be, yup, there it is. And we're gonna do one last flyover. Alright. So we back inland. I'm flying to. Alright. This is going to be the last time I'm ever going to be in New York unless the New York Knicks draft me. And then it's going to be awkward. <laughs> it's going to be straight up awkward if the New York Knicks draft me. But this might be the last time I ever get to see this hideous city. Last time I get to, you know, talk to the people that work for me and all that. It's the last time. Yeah. Luckily, I knew how to fly. Luckily, I was. Luckily, I learned how to fly. Went to flight school for a little bit, <laughs> so I can get up out of here. But this is the closing chapter of the first chapter of my life, and I'm gonna try to make the rest of my life the good one. I ain't gonna do nothing stupid this time. I'm going to go straight to the gym, work on basketball, and that's it. I ain't doing nothing extra. Only working on my craft. That's it. But I know a lot of people, or I know a good little bit of people kind of like the other side, but it's too risky to be on the other side, man. If the cops call me one time, it would be a wrap for me. And I ain't want people to see. I ain't want, I ain't want to... The people who actually looked up to me when I was in football to realize I was dead. But even though they kind of already do. But now I get another outlet. I get another way out. Another way to impress people and sort of make them look back up to me. You feel me? But this is kind of it's kind of just a depressing video because, like, I don't know. It just feels it just feels like uh. Like I'm, I'm getting rid of a part of me, but I guess when that part of me is the part of me become, I become a monster, and I think it's best for this part of me to not be a thing anymore. And, it's, and I feel like I'm growing as a, as a man, sorta, sorta, but uh, going somewhere and uh, get better as a person. In Bay City, I'm back to school, but uh, expect me to be wearing number double zero, only to respect the agents that busted me out, the agents that freed me from my curse. So in order to respect them, you know, the corny agent double O type thing, I'm going to wear number double zero just for them. And uh, hopefully I can get drafted, go to, go to the uh, NBA, and bust LeBron ass. You feel me? But Aiden will keep recording my life. So next week, y'all should see me hooping. But uh, yeah, we out. All right, man. Tell me that you love me